So now that we're back from E3, we're hard at work on a ton of new analyses, and the first that I decided to tackle was for one of my personal favorites, Kingdom Hearts 3. There's a lot that can be taken away from this trailer, and we'll certainly address it all soon, but one detail stuck out more than the rest. In the final scene when a young Ericus and Xehanort are talking, there's a shot that finally shows Ericus' face. But what's fascinating is the thing directly behind his left shoulder. It's a calendar, innocuous enough we suppose, but we can't help but wonder. Tetsuya Nomura, much like Masahiro Sakurai, isn't one to put things in his games without reason. Everything has a purpose or serves as a hint to come. So we started going through future months looking for dates when that calendar would match. After all, it could be a clue to the game's official release date. Well, it just so happens to occur exactly like that three times over the next three years. The first is October of this year, which is just way too soon to expect any kind of release. But the next is December of 2016, 11 years after the release of Kingdom Hearts 2. Could this actually be the release date? We have no idea, but we're hoping so if only because the next time the calendar looks like this is March of 2018. But that date still makes some sense since it'd be 16 years after the release of the original Kingdom Hearts, which was also released in March. Although, that does seem a little late to be teasing an actual release date. Of course, it could always just be a meaningless calendar and we're grasping onto false threads for some semblance of hope. But again, Nomura isn't exactly one to just put something meaningless into his game, so we think it's at least possible. We'll see for sure as time passes. Until then, be sure to stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Kingdom Hearts, including our upcoming analysis and other things gaming.